but that feels like the remothering moment. It's like, yeah, we're having absolutely. a really big feeling, like a really yeah. big feeling. And we don't have modeled for us that I've got you. And we get to yeah. have that voice. Yeah. Like, I've got you here. Yeah. That is a really big feeling, but I'm still here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those big feelings often are that little part of us, that young part of us, that the wound that was never tended to. So we can take care of her. We can mother her in the ways that we weren't mothered. Mm. You know, when we're sitting with ourselves, we're hearing her and we're saying, I'm here for you and I hear what you're saying and I'm not going to leave you on your own in it. If you think about it as a child, it's, it's way too painful for us to, to accept that there's something lacking in our mother that means that we're not getting what I need, what we need. That's way too painful. It's way too overwhelming, isn't it? So we believe that it has to be us. It gives us a false sense of control that we can do something about this, that we're still wanted, that we're still loved. You know, so it, it helps us to survive because we can't sit in that abandonment. You know, as babies, if we don't get our needs met, we die. We have to find ways to be creative. And that's why I want to reframe it, because I think, you know, as adults, we feel like there's something wrong with us. We've got all of these problems because we're doing all of this stuff. And but there was, was never anything wrong with us. You know, it was actually a really clever way that we learned to survive. You know, how amazing is that? So you know, that you made it here. Yeah. We are yeah, all exactly. here. Celebrate yourself. Yay. Yeah. Exactly. And now that we're here, we get to take a look and if we want to take a look at some of these adaptations and if we're ready to, or if they serve to change us, change yeah. the adaptation actually. Yeah. And that's the next part. And that's the painful part. So that's why it's really good to have that compassion part first, you know, to support us when we're in it. I'm curious. And I want to talk about separating further, like, and holding two things in general, holding things about our programming or our family of origin um, mm. or the, our own ways of being up until a moment where the cost became obvious or the adaptation became obvious or it was no longer serving to yeah. where we're going. Mm. Um, can you take that and run with it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll start with baby steps. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think, Growing up, we learned that we either had a choice of empowerment or a choice to be loved. We either chose, we learned that we had to obey and to believe the same and do the same that was expected of us. You know, we were seen as an extension of our mother. We were expected to, you know, there was no boundaries. There was no different thoughts. There was no, you just had to do what you had to do to be loved conditionally. Mm. And I think... I think it's really important to name those two camps in terms of taking the baby steps because actually when we start to take when we start to let go of that defense we might have of well my mum's amazing and she did the best that she could we can feel guilty we can feel like we're being selfish we can feel like we're being ungrateful because we're going against what we've always been told what we always knew well, not even what we always knew. On some level, we knew that it was wrong. It wasn't okay. But we never had a voice and we never got backed up. You know, to have a different opinion or to behave differently would be seen as abandonment or betrayal to the family. You know, there were unspoken family rules. So I guess I just want to really validate how hard it is to move out of this camp. Even if you don't feel like you really belonged in it anyway. And as we begin to end... Do many parting words for us, either underlining something that we've already talked about, or is there anything that I didn't think to ask you um, on this topic of, of really of ad finding our adaptive strategies and identifying them so that and next week we'll be starting to look at how to break free from them. Um, I guess maybe something along the lines of you know encouraging you to know that there wasn't there was never anything wrong with you mm. that your adaptations whilst you know they might not be working out so well now you know it was a, an amazing thing you are an amazing person and you're worthy you know you're worthy of of all of the things that you want you know to step into your power to be yourself to be accepted 
and that you can do it for yourself and although it's really hard it's also really it's also really worth it you know to not give up on that to not give up on you yeah. <laughs>